Hey you guys, welcome back to The Love Nest. Today, we have some interpretive dancers actually for you. We're really good at Hello. it. Hello. Been training for years. <laughs> so we have some awesome guests. I'm gonna let them introduce yourselves and I'm excited because we have a fun show in store for you guys. Uh, I'm Chad, you might see me from the game station. I do remag, lots of stuff. I pop in people's videos, I never wanted. Hi. He has a fantastic <laughs> mustache. Oh, thank you. Thank you never you. talk about how glorious your mustache is, and I don't understand. Because to draw attention to it would make me uh, bold and prideful, oh, and I therefore see. it loses its magic. Well, maybe maybe we'll touch more on those yeah, during the lemons. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm Dodger. Um, my YouTube channel is Press Heart to Continue, and I do entirely gaming stuff. So maybe you see a theme yeah. of why we're here. Oh, oh, oh. I know. I wanted oh. to say we have fun gamers. I'm like, is that going to offend them? No, no. no. Like Game oh, dirty word. Gamer isn't a. So before, I usually have guests do the love base, which we, we are going to do. Okay. But oh. since you're here, you guys aren't parents, right? Do no. you have kids that you know of? I don't know. You don't, I don't know of any. Don't know. You have don't kids. Know. We're on a yeah. great start. Yeah. <laughs> I have a little boy, and he's five, mm -hmm. and he's into Skylanders. Oh, oh yeah, it's a big money making machine. No, it's not lame. Um, you have to be honest. Well, he's like, well, you, if we're gonna. No, it's, no, it's cool. It's not a game that appeals to like everybody, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a game where the people that love it really love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so. those little bastards! <laughs> you have to buy a portal and then mm -hmm. a guy to go on the portal, and then you can't get past this level until you buy this guy. And every guy mm -hmm. is like fifteen dollars, yep. and there's like a yeah. hundred guys. Some guy, brilliant. some guy became it like is, head of a company for coming up with the idea of Skyline. It is brilliant, it but so I'm money. like single mom budget here. Like <laughs> maybe next year Santa will oh, bring you. Did you, you just though. cry when Skylanders Giants came out? Mm -hmm. It was like there are ones that are double. They're not, even, they're not even that much bigger oh. than the whole Giants. You just stressed me out. There's more. There are more. There's also Disney oh, Infinity. You should be ready for Disney Infinity. Oh gosh, he I'm also sorry. plays this like Mickey game that has like magic. Oh yeah, Epic Mickey. Mickey. Yeah. yeah. Is that a lame game? No, no. it's kind of it's kind of dark. I try to keep it. It is. A little bit. I, was say, I don't, like, I don't want to take away from games for your kids. Let your kids play the game. <laughs> this is like the mistake I always made when I used to run like work game retail, and I'd be like accidentally just say something about like, oh yeah, this game's really good for your kid. Like you can like rip off people's heads. Like oh no, sorry. And then like, the oh, kid no, would just be like, you betrayed game. me. And then I say take the game away. <laughs> and then he has a DS. But that one, okay. I like that one because he can. He does the Mario on that one. I feel like that's just really neutral. Can you play in the car. Yeah, that's like my go-to when we grocery shop. Like. Get out the DS. Yeah, so. it sounds like he's on the right track. He's on the right mm -hmm. track? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm calling you guys anytime he has this like game in mind. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Call Dodger and Chad and make sure about this game. Yeah. He'll be like, oh no, that game is gonna, he's gonna be like, <laughs> the, way the bottom problem. of the social pole if he plays that game. The problem with these like Skylanders and like Disney Infinity games is that they're little cartoon action figures, so mm -hmm. like it's hard to have those in your living room as a 25 year old without them looking really embarrassed. <laughs> Whatever, so, you're so cool. You gotta, you gotta like cut off the action figures at the base so you can just put the little scanning things. Gotcha. Yeah, you gotta just, gotta like, just be proud of who you are. Have a little yeah. curio you cabinet just, just full it. of like Skylanders it, right? items. That's another thing, moms, is he will take the Skylanders and use them as action figures and fights. Oh, so you don't have adorable. to go buy yeah. another thing. So he like he loves them and he like will sleep with them. But Aww. I've tried to play the game with him and I'm like. So smart Cooper. He like he conquered it in literally two days. The whole thing. That's when he needed <laughs> he's five? more Skylanders. Yes. Do you, do you have a problem with one of them? Sorry, this is not at all about love and relationships. One of the things in Skylanders Giants is like this Eric, like warrior called like Soda Pop or something. He drinks soda and gets stronger. Bad message for your kid. <laughs> Bad yeah, message. I for your don't kid. drink soda. Yeah. <laughs> as I do. Hopefully, this show isn't sponsored by like Coca Cola or something. <laughs> We're trying to get a Diet Coke. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> So moving on, yeah, the love, sorry. The, you're fine. We can talk about oh, gaming. The I, love I'm nest base question. This is kind of a surprise element. Okay. You have to read it out loud and answer as honestly as possible. Are you ready? I'm ready. I hope there's no big. It's upside down. For you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. What is the male equivalent of a woman bending over so a guy can see her butt? Man, oh, I thought that snap. question was going such a different route. <laughs> um, okay, so the male equivalent of a woman, oh, so like a lady wants to like bend over and show the goods. The yeah, that's, that's like my a butt question cheek slip, out of like, this. Is right. it like, is it a girl being like, I want to get that guy's eye, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do drop a bending a pen, snap, drop a pen. or is bend it a guy snap? saying, you should bend over because I like everything that's going on there? Which is a Who's very bold, it's a bold statement. Oh my goodness, I would feel like maybe She's initiating. Or maybe let's just pretend everybody is neutral and she actually okay. did drop her pen. Oh, it's and an accident. she drops okay. it okay. and pices it up and a guy walks by and he's like, oh, mm, okay. girl, I like that. Mm. So nobody's intentionally mm. just catching the butt. Okay. See, I was going to say that it's when a dude takes off a shirt 
or or just, even just any or, any situation or next okay. level no like in a situation where it's not necessary okay. or next level when he rips off a shirt and destroys a perfectly good shirt oh right yeah okay just rips down the middle which happens yeah. never. but that's very intentional never ha okay that's yeah. not like I dropped a pen. that's more likely like I'm on fire and this shirt is on fire <laughs> yeah and exactly that's like I more need than this off of me immediately because I have third degree burns yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure. What would your answer oh, well, be? Well, my answer would be what my move is in the intentional version oh, is a lot of like deep seated like squat thrusts. <laughs> like if I had to like lift a heavy thing, like a barrel, like a squat big heavy barrel of like Epsom time? salts mm. or like dried fish. Now you can just like whoop, right. whoop, squat. and just like lift them up. Yeah, and just and like then kind of throw set the it, every set day. it down, and up and down. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Mm -hmm. Just I go mean, in the grocery store, just, just like, like lifting like... bags of cat food. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> honestly, yeah, maybe like lifting things because mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of people, men and women, if you're into dudes, like. You like seeing arm muscles, like they're yeah. into arms a lot I like of a times. strong back, like I feel like a guy out working in the field, oh, like building yeah. something or like mm. laboring. I like a manly man, but that like looks good. Digging, yeah. digging holes in the dirt. Yeah. There's a, you guys probably, I don't know, do you like country music? Yeah. In, I like I, I, music. I, I, I like um, that song by Rascal Flatts. Oh, that one? Oh, that one. You know, that one hit yeah, they had. Yeah, hit, Brad yeah. Paisley has a song called I'm Still a Guy, and he talks about like guys getting Botox and spray tans. Really? Mm -hmm. And I do like guys who like are a little more metro, maybe not on that extreme, that's a lot, but yeah. also who can like work and like use their hands and mm -hmm. be like rough. I think it's so attractive. Take care of themselves, but are are totally cool with like yeah. getting dirty and doing stuff. Getting dirt under their fingernails. Yeah. They're not going to be like, oh, I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> it's a little you different. Don't be prettier yeah. than me. I can't keep to up. Worry about all of this. It's a, yeah. it's a little different in LA, where it's like everyone, the entire, if I may, it's a word overused. Like the entire hipster movement, I feel like for guys is kind of yeah. like, I am not a tough man, but I can look like a tough man yeah. with like some like flannel and it. like, I mean, I'm wearing a hipster mustache. So <laughs> is I'm that even real? Let me pull. Yeah, one. yeah. Giant, <laughs> giant, oh giant gosh, hypocrite. That would be the best twist if what? it was a fake mustache. You ripped it off. You could just be like, giant defraud of my entire. Instead of ripping your shirt off, you're gonna rip off your mustache. Oh, life would be alive. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of games and gaming, mm -hmm. do you guys feel like it's ever affected any of your relationships? Has there been somebody that's like, whoa, you're on this way too much, or do you choose to date gamers? I mean, I think like if I, it's, I don't think I'm like drawn to, I must date a gamer, but generally just like there's like a Venn diagram. If you like gaming, you also like a ton of the same. Mm -hmm. You like Firefly probably also as well, if you like game, which is a TV show that shouldn't have gotten canceled. Oh. But like that idea of as long as you're just going for shared mm -hmm. interests, not like, if I, I remember seeing there was this website for dating called like Geek to Geek or something. Yes, oh my gosh. You know gosh. Geek to Geek? Yeah, because. Suck at Geek to Geek, you're stupid. It's <laughs> awful. <laughs> We're sending a message today, it's yeah. Geek to Geek. We are eliminating as many branding opportunities as you can get for the show. Dang it, that was like my next. Coca-Cola, like, like, Geek to Geek, <laughs> everything else I can list. Crossing all Not gonna do it. Every possible. But like, it was just matching people purely on like liking a few pieces of media. And yeah, while I might be able to like, it's a good call that if you like a certain game, I probably, we have something in common. Uh -huh. it's not a guarantee you're gonna get along. But like, that's so general. It's like, do you like cheese? Yeah. And Coke? Yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, we should date. That's mm -hmm. that's the thing, is in the end, it's another interest. Mm -hmm. And just like yeah. with any other interest, like if one person is really into sports, mm -hmm. you're just not all that into sports. You know, if you're in a good relationship, then yeah. you're going to be willing to be like, I'll watch this game with you, even though I don't really get yeah. it. You know, I'll be yeah. supportive. And so you're always just looking for somebody who's gonna be supportive toward you yeah. when you're like, Look, I've got a raid tonight, so yeah. I won't Just be around for a couple of hours, but I think you're real pretty, so we'll talk later. Yeah, as long as it's not ever, like overriding with your own time. Like we're not mm -hmm. I think it's there was like the sad like my husband is in wow and I still don't ever see him ever again. Like that's then there's a problem. That's, that's yeah. the extreme. Yeah. 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 But like you might say, uh, you like the Beatles. You know mm -hmm. also like the Beatles, Charles Manson like the Beatles. You don't want to date Charles Manson. Do. How do you know? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, speaks too I much. We're gonna get into that. He Look. was very charming. Charles, call me. He was very charming. <laughs> Is he still alive? <laughs> I like that. I think that like when you put your priorities of something you love more than your relationship, whether mm -hmm. it's fitness, mm -hmm. whether it's like your job, whatever it may be, gaming, sports, hobbies, etc. I think that's always going to be a problem. Yeah. So I think you have to know what's important to you. What's important to your loved one, your significant other, and if that's crossing or interfering, then it obviously can't work out. 
I think where it gets a little bit muddy is how many people have met each other through a game, mm -hmm. and maybe they live in completely different countries, That's crazy. and the so only time that they spend time is on the game. Gaming, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. you can talk to people, is that how? Yeah, yeah. people have gotten married happened? in game. People have gotten yeah. married inside of games. People have married games. Oh, what? <laughs> there's, a, there's a man in Japan, I believe, who married his true. like dating simulator game. <laughs> That's a whole other show on the love yeah. business. <laughs> marry your simulators. We'll come to that later. <laughs> I mean, it's great if you can share some, obviously it's better to not like, sorry, it's like off tangent, but remember like uh, there was a, a comedy show in LA and this husband was like a, a star on, on this show called Harmontown. Mm -hmm. And it was a really big thing to him. And he just mentioned like, yeah, I spent a thousand dollars flat here to be on stage. My wife's in the hotel tonight, like not here watching the show. Like clearly this was a thing that meant something to this man. And you yeah. didn't come out? Like, I mean, there's a, there's a difference between like not having to share all the same interests, but also like supportive Supporting yeah. on a level, yeah. And, yeah. and also communicating about that too. Mm -hmm. Just like whether or not you feel supported. Yes. So. Yeah. That being said, it'd be great if, it's great to have the overlap of interests. Like I'd rather have, I'd love to, I'd love to date someone who supported my habit, also like, spend the habit with me, like wants to play games yeah. with me and other things. I also like dodgeball. Hopefully a girl likes to get hit in the face with dodgeballs. I love so. getting hit in the face yeah. with dodgeballs. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and just, you know, it, Sometimes you drag somebody along and you're like, look, I'm gonna be looking for a dress today and I know you don't wanna be here, but I just really need to find a dress. It's kind of the same thing when you're dating somebody who's not into comics at all. You're yeah. like, yeah. I wanna go to the comic book store today and I'm probably gonna spend a while figuring out which comic book that I wanna buy. But because you love that person and care about them, yeah. support them, well, right? Question, if I may, like, then how much, for, like, for comics, I feel like that's a really, one where like, you try to, there's a comics have so many different, it's not just Iron Man and like, Super yeah. anymore, there's like cool indie ones like like Fables or yeah. like Why the Last Man where I know that like every time a girl I've dated I always am like you should at least read Fables like just trying to push that towards them and like, I was like is that too much to try to like start trying to change them with yeah. like your interests or like introduce some new things? Changing. I think that if they're if somebody is open to learning about your interests mm -hmm. that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because like I'll be honest I don't know anything about sports. I don't know a dang thing about <laughs> sports. But I, I dated somebody who was really, really into football. And he was very patient in teaching me the rules of football. Mm -hmm. And I didn't retain any of it. You need to play Madden. Madden is a game for football. You can like pick I, a whole team and draft yeah. a whole team. No, and I'm awful at Just it. Like, <laughs> and you can learn it. It requires and actually like, knowing how to play football, basically. Yeah, that's and, like, and I thought I was doing good when I was doing good on Madden. No, yeah. <laughs> Just run back 50 yards every time and throw the ball. Just Got do that it. every time we get It right. usually works. <laughs> Got it. It's not realistic. So are there games that are breakers in a relationship? Like if you play this game, I'm mm. not dating you. Or just like a, I mean, just like a gamer oh. thing. Yeah, like a pet peeve. Like a system that they use that you're like, that's not cool. I don't, like I, Skylanders, <laughs> not cool. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if there, I honestly, I know it's, it's mostly for, if there was a girl who was like upset, only played Skylanders. You might be like. And like you need to play a Spiral the Dragon with me in Skylanders. I'd be a little bit like, I don't know. <laughs> like, it's, might be more there's like attitudes in gaming maybe. Like just like even just uh, like people that play certain stuff and are looking for an agenda. Like I've had arguments with certain type of people like who don't, Mass Effect is a very popular video game and like I loved people who play Mass Effect but then like I've met like girls who are like, I'm just gonna use Mass Effect as a, as a stance to talk about like gender equality kind of things, oh, which wow. is a really important thing. But then mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, if we're just playing video games to make like Tumblr posts, I don't know if I wanna date you for that. Like, that's, <laughs> so that's a, it's like, like a weird, yeah. Tumblr is so important. Tumblr, <laughs> <laughs> it's life changing. You and I are on completely different. Tumblr is life, <laughs> life I'm right sorry. Right <laughs> it's all about Twitter, please. Uh, it's not, I don't think there's any like a, a deal breaker necessarily for a certain game, but mm -hmm. like, I think that there are games that, that might make you a little bit concerned in terms of how much time they're willing to spend with you in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if somebody, if I start dating somebody and they say, by the way, you should know, most of the time of my life, I'm I am grinding. playing World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah. yeah I Is might that be like, like it's always MMOs, games? yeah. Huh? Is it like killing games? No, it's but it's, it's, killing. It's, a, it's a game that people get highly, highly addicted mm. to. Okay. There are some games that people just spend all of their yeah. time playing. So that's the one I should not look at. Well, it's just require, it requires like days of your life, and also if you want to start playing with people, you have to all play together, and like suddenly like Which you don't have a life. Which is genius for whoever yeah. invented it. Oh right. yeah. yeah. And it locks oh, people in, and then there's so much money off of that game. But. Tell me if I'm wrong, and, mm -hmm. and if people have generalized this, because I don't want to make a generalization, but I've Who heard is? this, that if people play games that are more violent, or they're like, they become obsessed with killing and murdering and mm -hmm. these things, that they're more apt to be violent in their daily lives, or, relationships or whatever. Do you guys agree or do you disagree with that? Do you feel like a game can change how you feel? I don't know, I don't I, I don't think so, really. I mean, I, obviously there's like, 
maybe a desensitized version, but it's nothing they've ever driven me towards wanting to do anything like out of hand. Yeah, the, uh, I think I think that some people are more aggressive, and mm -hmm. if they play more aggressive games, it kind then of like it can that. yeah. Um, but I, I'll be honest, I've played very brutal horror games mm -hmm. yeah. since I was pretty young, and I have never once yeah. wanted yeah, to be violent. Yeah, she looks like a killer. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, 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 you I played, really. I played <laughs> Manhunt where you murder someone with a grocery bag, and I'm a well-adapted member of society, <laughs> so totally fine. No, I mean, this is a, it's a hot-button issue with, um, with gamers, because yeah. that's, that's something that gets brought up a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, do video games affect kids? Do movies affect kids? Like, like, should we be careful yeah. about, you know, what our kids are playing? And I think, absolutely, I wouldn't want my little kid, you know, playing a super violent game, no yeah. way. You dial back but at least a couple of years, until they're like <laughs> From six. From when you started, right? Yeah. You're like, okay, I started at six, you can start at eight, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just turn back a little bit. Though, that being said, as far as relationships, if there's a girl that like, plays a bunch of like really violent video games. I was gonna say, is that like, Red I, flag, red flag. I am drawn to crazy girls, so that sounds actually like a, <laughs> a red flag. You are setting yourself I was, up. I was gonna yeah. say, he I likes don't even crazy. feel bad. No, no, I know, it's my weakness. I'm just like, oh. You're crazy, like, I like you. Yeah. You seem like your brain is damaged. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> let's, get, let's get it going. You seem like the girl from me. This would have been oh. a good moment for you to just moonwalk off the set. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just like, just like and die. Die. Can you just do that in post and after effects? Just have me just wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, just stop. Just, just slide me right now. Just slide me. No? Okay. <laughs> Be fun when you see that answer, you're gonna love yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> just make sure to tune in, guys. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna, it's gonna be gold. Be great. Well, you guys, this has been such a fun episode. Make sure you guys go check out their channels and leave them love. Weren't they awesome? And if you have fun games that you play that maybe I should get interested in with Cooper, that we can have a good bond, leave it in the comments below. And I'm gonna pass it by our go to's with the games because these we'll guys will let you we'll know what's up. They'll yeah. give you the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Yeah. <laughs> so, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time on Love Nest. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.